Hello folks, I am Marvel Master and welcome to the last part of the series How to use the Lip Sync plugin by Georgie Dev. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the first two parts. In the first video I explained how to make basic lip sync with microphone input work and in the second part I added lip sync with pre-recorded microphone and text-to-speech. And in this video we will combine everything with facial and body animations, so let's dive right in. Now the last steps we need is some nice facial animations and uh, some nice body animations. So for body animations you can use anything you have, but let's do it the 2025 way with the Fab plugin. So head to Window, Fab, and the Fab Marketplace will open. You can log in on the top right, I think. I have already logged in and here's a little button that says My Library. When I click on it, I just search for some nice animations like Conversation. Conversation. And a while ago, I added a character conversation mocap pack to my vault. So I click on it and just add it to my project. Uh, the highest version available is 5.5, .5, but should not matter at the moment, and I added to project. Now it's downloading, and it seems to have finished. And now let's find it. Oh, it's already selected here. And what I need uh, for my character is animations, root motion, and I will use the first animation here. Now, in the last years, we had to retarget this in a more or less difficult way, but the last versions of Unreal Engine 5 made it so much easier. So to make the animation work with my character, I just need to right-click, then retarget animation, then I make sure that the skeleton of the animation pack I just downloaded is selected here, and for the target skeleton mesh, I select my new metahuman character body. There you can already see a preview here and you can click on the animations on the right. I double click this and as you see it plays absolutely fine. Then I export animations. I will plug a prefix here to find it again. I will call it body underscore and then the animation name hit export export and there is my body animation and now there's two ways to make the animation work the easy way is just click on my character in the world on the right i search for the body and where it says animation mode i select use animation as set and just drag and drop it in here and then I can hit play and it just works. Hello, I am a metahuman and this is just a cool demonstration. But the better way uh, to make this work is to create an animation blueprint uh, for the body of the character because there you have way more control over switching between multiple animations. So let's Click on the body here, scroll down where the skeleton mesh is set is, then click on this little folder icon here. This will browse to the skeleton mesh of this character, of the body. Then right click on it and create an animation blueprint. And I will call this my body anim blueprint. Then I open this up and what I do here now is just make this a little bit smaller, head back to my animation and then drag the animation inside of this window of the animation graph, connect it to the output pose, hit compile and save. Then I can close the my body animation blueprint minimize what's left over, 
Then I click on my character in the world again. Then I select body again, scroll up where the animation mode is and click on it and I select use animation blueprint here. And for the anim class, I use my body animation blueprint. This will basically do the same as we did before, but inside of the animation blueprint. Hello, I am a metahuman, and this is just a cool demonstration. You will have way more control over which animation to play. Just a quick side note, uh, we just made this edits on the character in the world. But if we remove it and place a new character in the world, it would not work because it's not edited in the blueprint itself. So to do this, we can open the blueprint again, head to the body, do the same here, use animation blueprint, and where it says animation class, I search for my body animation blueprint. And now whenever I place my character in the world, it will be automatically applied. So you now saw that you can just overlay body animations with the lip sync stuff, but you can also do this with facial animations. So what we need here is facial animations. And where do I get facial animations? Uh, again from Fab. Let's hit Window, Fab. And here I am going to use the City Sample animations. City Sample. The city sample crowds because they have facial animations and I can add them to my project. The last possible version and add to project. Now this will download and this might take a while. Okay, once the download has finished, you can see you have a city sample crowd folder and inside there is character, anims, facial and um, a few facial animations. So, same procedure as before. I right click on one animation, then retarget the animation. You might also get an error of some missing uh, settings need to be enabled. So I do this, no problem. Um, is the window still open? No. Wants me to restart. Okay, so let's restart the engine and then proceed. Okay, the engine has restarted. Now let's do it again. I right click on the facial animation here, then retarget animations. Make sure a source skeletal mesh is selected. And then for the target skeletal mesh, I again say new meta human, but this time face mesh. You can click on it, it's been selected. There's a little offset here, but don't worry, um, it doesn't matter. It works anyways. So then I will select all of these by holding shift, apart from the face post-process animation blueprint. And then I hit export animations. Again, I put a prefix here, tell it face underscore and export, export. Now I need to find my animation blueprint of the face again. The easiest way is to click on my character again, select the face on the right and where it says anim class, click on the little folder icon. There it is. And then I can open it up again. And here we need to head over to the anim graph. Then we can just right click and type blend per bone. And select layered blend per bone. Connect the output from the MetaHuman lip sync to the blend pose zero. Then connect the use cache pose from the body pose to the base pose. And for the source pose, we use the animation of the face. In this case, I use face crowd reaction. I drag it in. 
then connect it to source pose, hit compile and save. And of course, don't forget to connect the output of the whole stuff to the output pose again. So for my purpose, it worked like that. But uh, documentation suggests that you do a special layer setup for the layered plant per bone to add three bones to the layered plant per bone. If you get any problems or it doesn't work for you, I suggest you do it like in the documentation. Basically, click on the layer plan per bone, then add three arrays here and write the bone names into this bone name field here. But for me, it worked this way, so I leave it here like it is. Then hit compile and save. And now let's see what happens. Hello, I am a metahuman, and this is just a cool demonstration. Okay, we have facial animation, but only once. Let's fix that by opening up the animation blueprint again. And for the crowd reaction, the face animation, we search for a loop and select the loop checkbox. So the concerned face or the crowd reaction will be playing all the time. And to check if it really works, I go to the event graph again, and instead of text-to-speech, I will use my microphone input again. So from the begin play, I connect the notes that will use my microphone for audio input. So let's hit compile and save again, minimize it again, and hit play. Then... Do we have facial animation? Yes, there are wrinkles and as you can see, there's still my mouth movement. So lip sync is working, facial animation is working and uh, body animation is working too. Well, that's it for the series How to use the plugins by Georgie Dev. If you got any questions or problems, you can write a comment or contact Georgie Dev directly on Fab. I hope you liked the videos. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.